most Australians will get or will have gotten already the AstraZeneca vaccine. This AstraZeneca vaccine is not the same as the Pfizer. They does not have the same efficacy. It does not have the same mode of transportation into the body. And it's important to understand the differences between the two because they can implicate different side effects, efficacy, immune mediated responses, and general immunity. So how does it work? We're going to go through that now. The main difference between the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca is the mechanism or vector which these vaccines induce an immune response. One, the Pfizer and Moderna, they use mRNA technology. New technology uh, seems to be very effective, okay? At least from an efficacious standpoint, previous videos and research I've purported, we're looking at 95% efficacy. Now, we compare that to the AstraZeneca. We're looking somewhere around the 70 to 80% efficacy at building immunity against the coronavirus. Now, this is dose dependent. We're gonna summarize later in later videos, but let's actually talk about what the hell is going on. What are the differences? You put the, you, you let someone put a vaccine in your body, shouldn't you at least understand what's going on? I believe in informing the population and informing myself before doing anything like this. So here it is. So. The AstraZeneca, it actually uses a adenovirus, a chimpanzee adenovirus. And people think, what are you talking about chimpanzees? Where, homo sapiens? Well, it's because humans haven't seen chimpanzee adenoviruses. And so we don't have uh, a vector, we, and so we don't want to have a vector used in that situation that could be recognized by the immune system because then our immune system would destroy that vector before the actual message gets into the cell. Adenoviruses get into the cell. mRNA, it creates and triggers the, it sends the instructions, like an envelope sends the instructions to the body to make the protein to then build immunity inside the body. Just a two sentence, little quick difference. We'll go more into the differences later on, maybe in future videos or later on in this video. So in this case, with the chimpanzee adenovirus, the message is not mRNA like it is in Pfizer and Moderna, it's actually DNA. And so the DNA goes into the nucleus. mRNA, as, and as far as I'm understanding, which I'm very certain is, is correct, does not enter the nucleus. Now, so there's differences between the transmission and vector to which they get into the body. So. DNA goes into the nucleus in the AstraZeneca. That's where it's transcribed into mRNA to provide the instructions and build that immune system response, build antibodies. The rest is the same from there as uh, the rest is the same from there. So it was, uh, so it uses a replication. The AstraZeneca uses a replication deficient chimpanzee viral vector, which is the carry of how it gets in the, the body. It's based on a weakened version of the common cold virus, adenovirus, that causes infections in chimpanzees and contains the genetic material of SARS-CoV-2 virus spike protein. After vaccination, the surface spike protein is produced, priming the immune system to attack the SARS-CoV-2 virus if it later infects the body. So now, you have the, you prime the immune system to understand the language of how to destroy a potential pathogenic virus. So, little summary right there on the difference between the AstraZeneca vaccine or the adenovirus and an mRNA vaccine, Pfizer. Uh, 